You know, I try to be understanding. I try to uh, keep an open mind here. But good God, super pitfall. Let's look at the first problem here. This game is uh, published by Activision. Fine, fine. Activision have published some some good stuff in the past and in the future. You know, that's uh, that's not its own problem right away. Now the problem is this is developed by Micronix. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. See, Pitfall for the Atari 2600 was one of the undisputed greatest games of its kind. Ugh. It was a shining beacon of light in a world of, honestly, a lot of garbage that the Atari 2600 had. Pitfall you could do no wrong with. Super Pitfall, unfortunately, despite what the name may imply, is indeed not super at all. First off, just look at how chunky this whole game is. Everything flickers. Your jumping kind of sucks. I mean, it, I've seen worse jumping, to be honest. The music is the same seven second loop. Oh. I know, I'm already complaining. You've already seen that, you know, your gun shoots straight over some enemies, and you can't just duck and shoot, so that's, that's a good start. Okay, well, you know, that's, that's the kind of area where you just, okay. You accept you're gonna die, right? It's gonna happen over and over and over and over. Yeah, this game is notorious. Yeah, and see, then it, it it spawns you directly in front of an enemy again. <laughs> now, you'd think that I would have been ready for that. I haven't been looking at the screen. Oh, it gives you, yeah, it gives you a little tiny bit of invincibility to get out of there, and then that's it. You do have limited bullets, as we can see, so, you know, if... <laughs> this is the start of Super Pitfall. <clears throat> and it is my sworn solemn duty to spend a whole hour with this. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say about that. That that, that was um that was something else. You know, for all for all the talk I talk about wanting to be, you know, the most optimistic guy on YouTube about games and all that and stuff, you know, it's, it's there's a point where something's got to give, right? <sighs> maybe maybe this game can get into my good graces a little bit later on, but you know, early early assessments say this is a Kari Warriors level, which as you may suspect is uh, pretty damning. Oh gosh, that's so clunky looking. It just rushes you! Look at that! No siree. I don't like it. <laughs> it's it's like a, it's like a fully 2D Deadly Towers, except I think this might commit more cardinal sins than Deadly Towers itself does. Oh look at all that gold. I want that gold, man. So Okay, good luck jumping over a spider if it's going the same direction you are, apparently. That's what we've learned today. It takes... a hope. That's right, you can't go down there. You can't go down that ladder. How could I forget? It takes a hilariously long amount of time... ...to, uh... ...reload after death, too. That, I think, is kind of just one of the goofiest problems that the game has. So, let's let's see if we can find, you know, a safe spot. I don't know if these are snakes or eels. I don't know what the difference is functionally, though. Okay. We're falling. Falling a long ways. 
And... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna call this at least some kind of progress, maybe? Because we're in a different area. I know, it's... it's faint praise. But I'm just... I'm, I'm just, you know... Trying to find anything. Ooh, remember how smooth the vines were in regular Pitfall? You don't get that here. You get these uh, big chunky vines. If this music doesn't drive you nuts, well then you're a saint. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, fine. Let's try this direction. Something's gotta give, right? I'm surprised that I was actually able to, you know, jump through that and utilize that. There's a balloon. <laughs> For what little it matters. This does that classic, uh, poorly made NES game thing. I... that classic Micronics thing where sprites just, um... You see a sprite, like a continue on the other side of the screen. I think I hear a cat. Woo! What? I didn't even see anything. Maybe, maybe because I, I turned my head to look at my meowing cat, but that really felt like there was literally nothing there. This is the kind of game where if you worked on this, you just don't want your name on the credits at all. <laughs> you know, if video games exist for the purpose of uh, providing entertainment and fun to the consumer, then this already, not even like 10 minutes in, has already failed to, de to deliver that on pretty much every possible front. Now, admittedly, I didn't hold the jump button down for long enough there. I just, I gave more of a little hop over that spoder than anything else, but at the same time, you gotta wonder when eventually the game just kind of gives you something. The frog's gotta be pretty much in the exactly correct place. Oh, and yep, look at that, the waterfall scoops you right down, which, okay, I guess that makes a little bit of sense at least. My Chronics, man, I tell you what, they... <sighs> okay. I assumed that would happen. You may think that I'm just, like, intentionally trying to play badly to, uh, tarnish this game's good name, but... Oh no. It is every bit as, uh, miserable as it looks. Don't go down that ladder. Like, we have to, like, plot a course for ourselves here. This ladder, this here. We don't want to go that way. That's certain death. This way might be okay, though. Oh, okay, so that that's one that we just can't, you know, go through the ceiling on. So, even with its janky rules, it's not consistent and it doesn't follow them. Which I shouldn't be surprised. Thought I could avoid it. Not like it matters, because, you know, we got this ladder right back up here. See, and I thought there was a waterfall there because of that, uh... Again, that goofy sprite flicker thing. That these particularly poorly made games tend to do. Color me amazed! I shook that frog. Oh... Thank god I was able to shoot him. Okay, that's the first bar of gold we've gotten in some time. Let's see if we can get another. Yeah, there we go! Oh no. Uh, yeah, don't stop. Just keep running. Nice. A big pile. My greed knows no bounds. Great. The bats respawn. <coughs> it's, it's like... 
I don't have to say anything clever about this game because it just says everything itself. Oh. It's a tragedy. Thank oh no. It turns out the game was just, you know, trying to do me a solid and tell me to not bother going that direction anymore. Hey, kinda glad I got caught up on the wall. <laughs> it's the most points we've gotten and we're just, you know, floundering now. I genuinely want to know. Like how this game came to be, how it got greenlit, how everyone's... Well, first off, I mean, I guess the concept of saying, hey, we, we want to make a sequel to Pitfall, that's not so baffling, I guess. You know, the game was very popular, the game was very good. It was fun, made the absolute most of the uh, hardware that it was on. A true classic, in every sense of the word. So, and of course, Pitfall actually got a sequel on the Atari. I think it was called like the Lost Caverns or something like that. And that was fine too. So this this super pitfall, this is kind of the, the questionable point then. Where it's like clearly this was the point where they decided we want to see if we can't make Pitfall a franchise. But if this is your introductory into your franchise world or your introduction point Good luck getting a lot of people on board. Hey, look at that. More and more points. I was able to avoid that waterfall and then meet certain death by bat. Okay. Actually, I killed the bat. Look at that. It's the most productive thing I've done in this game. <laughs> is kill a bat. Okay. You got kind of stuck crouching there. Why Why would you need to crouch in this game? You you lose a handful of pixels. And that's about it. Well, take me away, waterfall. Oh, okay, there's no real place for to take me away here, you know. Really, you know, just digging this same exact song. It's definitely not going to get old. It definitely hasn't gotten old, I should say, you know. It's, uh... As fresh as it was the first, um, 87 loops. And I know, I know, maybe the negativity is a little too palpable right now, but you gotta understand, this game is, uh, very much not good. Yeah! Well. Oh yeah, look. We have more lives, hooray. <laughs> Presumably because we've gotten so many, uh, Got dang points. I am a miracle man for living through that. Yeah, let's just take me down, boy. You gotta be kidding me now. <laughs> that is, I think, maybe the definition of uh, pure garbage right there. Here they're saying, take me away on your mystical waterfall trip. And the game says, how about, oh, not much of a trip to go on there, admittedly. But yeah, you're like, take me away, man, and... and the game just scorns you. Okay, I made it past somehow. It feels like, you know, a small triumph in and of itself. Waste all my bullets on bats. It probably looks bad enough in action, but the more you play it, the worse it gets. We, we played a couple games like that. Glad I went down there. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> we got to experience the bad to appreciate the good. I I keep falling for it. 
you'd think it would be in my head. Don't go down there. But... No, it's not in my head. <laughs> That one too, you know, like that's literally what I came over to. It's really the kind of game that just kind of laughs at you for even trying. <laughs> Which is, of course, the worst kind of... Which is, of course, the worst kind of game. It's, it's like, wow, you're trying to play me? <laughs> Good joke, son, and you're like, man, why are you even offering? <laughs> it's like you were to like invite a friend over just to make fun of them the entire time. It's like, why, why did you tell me to come here? I, so, for the record, I didn't try to go further down. I tried to go down, well, I, I guess I technically did. I tried to go down just enough to not get uh, destroyed by the frog. Yeah, I know, gold bar. I don't care at this point, man. Oh, that's how you get extra lives. Oh boy, so I get to spend more time in this miserable cavern. So, I know I can't like jump off an arc here, but if I just drop straight down, It's a miracle I'm not dead. Okay, I've been here. I recognize these waters. This iconic sea. We'll wait for it to pass the other way, because I know how these guys are. It'll start charging. Yep. See? Don't try to tell me that I never learn. The only way that this could get better is if it had a uh, hide lights music. What's hide light? Oh, don't worry. We'll get there soon enough. I don't even know if I want to come all the way up here, you know? Like, I'm, I'm feeling like maybe I'm just kind of setting myself up for disaster. I heard the, I heard the sound. The, the frog is dead sound. And then I still died anyway. I... Ah, love stuff like that. At this point, you know, you know, any any janky thing that happens in this game is kind of a moot point because it's 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 pure jank. <laughs> like, all right, let's go back down the elevator here. Ask yourself, what's down there? I'd ask you the same thing. I would almost be taken by the uh, captive sense of adventure that the game has if the game wasn't so, uh, well, frankly, miserable. Yes, you could very easily make the claim that, oh, you went into this with a negative attitude right off the bat, and therefore, uh, no matter what the game does, you're not going to be happy with it. It's like, you know, that might have some weight, but keep in mind, I went into Jaws with a similarly negative attitude and came out saying, hey, that, that was okay. If a game can prove me wrong, I will let it prove me wrong. Uh, problem is, I don't think Super Pitfall is really going to make any such attempt, even. Now, maybe... Maybe a positive attitude is on me, you know? Maybe I have to open up to it before it opens up to me, but... You know, over 700 games on the NES, it's, it seems... Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> it seems pointless to, you know, put so much effort into opening your heart up to one as... As, uh, <laughs> as uh, unfortunate as this one. Yes, this is an unfortunate game. That's, I think, maybe the the meanest thing you could say about something is, oh, it's unfortunate. Nice. <laughs> Hooray. How do we survive all that? You know. Maybe I'm born worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline. You know. Yeah, well, 
That's right, we're at that point, we're quoting makeup commercials now. It didn't take long! Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Shot over it, shot under it, jumped into it. <laughs> oh, sound like ice cream sizes. If ice cream sizes were stupidly named, which some of them are. Why don't you just leave me alone, Snakeo? Yeah, yeah, just like that. Fifty thousand. I believe that means uh, that's an extra life on the table. Whoopee. Yeah, that's how you shoot frogs. I figure, you know, if the point of this game is to collect gold, then I may as well at least, you know, go go back to the points where I know there are big piles of gold and do my due diligence at least. You know, I can rag on the game for being bad all I want, but, you know, I gotta... What do we got going on there? I'm... I'm ornery. <laughs> and I think that, uh, it's easy to understand why. And that was yet another, uh, betrayal bat. I guess... The bats can't really betray me if they've never put a single ounce of effort into not being jerks in the first place, so... Okay, my bad. I shouldn't have said that it betrayed me, because it was never nice to me in the first place. Now, don't go down there. Go down here. Yeah, see? I remember. Don't go down, because the scorpion will charge you. Now you go down. See? You're, you're like, see? The game's not that bad, you just have to memorize it. I'm like, no. The game's kind of that bad, too, though. Oh. Every time I jump on one of those platforms, I uh, feel my heart sink deeper into my chest. Oh, that's so upsetting. So upsetting. Yeah, thanks, game. <laughs> Spawn me inside the frog. At least, you know, they had the foresight to give you a tiny bit of uh, start of life invincibility. If they didn't do that, well, then I would have said you are beyond redemption. You're already pretty close to beyond redemption, but that would have sealed the deal. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this game is full of uh, arbitrarily hidden objects that you need to uh, progress as well, and I haven't found any of them, so if I literally did not press any button, old Pitfall Harry literally just let go of the ladder. I swear to you, I know the controller tracker hasn't been up for a while, but I... I solemnly swear to you that I did not press anything that would have resulted in me jumping off the ladder. He just... In a brief moment of... unfortunate autonomy, he said, I, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> I'm dying here, man. I hope that there's at least, like, some humor in how abysmally, in how abysmally this is going. Because there's very little else of value here. See, look how long that takes just to get back in the game. For a cartridge-based game, that's pretty pathetic. Just, just trying to get 
what gold chunks I know are there. Was there one over here? I think there was. Follow the spider to certain death. Nope, there wasn't over here. Okay, well. I can be wrong every now and then, right? <laughs> I Wow, really? You're gonna let me get off scot-free with that one? Not just gonna say, nah, bruh, sorry, you're dead? That would have seemed more your style, game, admittedly. So, you know, I hope there's somebody out there in the comment section watching the game. No, don't go down the don't don't go down there. There's a bat that'll kill you if you go down there. I remember. I hope there's someone in the comment section that just has vividly wonderful memories of Super Pitfall. Not so I can laugh at you and say, "Ha, your life sucked." So I can say, "Wow. At least this trash bag of a game brought somebody positive memories at some point." Because currently, it seems like a distant dream, the concept of fun. Maybe with our Sega Master System episode today. I, I think, and again, this is kind of calling it way too early. But I get the feeling that the Sega Master System may not ever reach the highs that the NES does. But I'm also pretty sure it will not have as much garbage on it, too. And I could be completely wrong about that, you know. Maybe maybe later on, the Master System just has a ridiculous amount of uh, shovelware. I mean, I know it's got ELF, so that's gotta count for something. But the fact that, you know, the vast majority of it was uh, uh, just published slash distributed by Sega themselves, you'd have to think would help in keeping a degree of quality consistency. That's, I guess, more or less what I'm looking to say. But you got the NES, where any old schmuck can publish any old piece of garbage, and wow, hmm, look at this. Who knows, maybe when we finish the NES library proper, if we ever do, you know, I'm not saying that we will, but if we if we do, maybe visit some of the unlicensed games in the bootleg and homebrew sector. Could be some interesting stuff there, you know. In case you really wanted to see bubble bath babes. I was facing the wrong direction! <laughs> Come on, Harry, what what are you doing to me here? Well, that, that just kind of makes you feel bad about yourself, you know? Like that. I don't think that I would have wound up killing him if I was facing the right direction, but that certainly, you know, doesn't help your case any. Like, I can't just say, wow, look at how bad the game was. It's like, nah, that was me, man. Thank you for ducking instead of going down. Appreciate that. You're lucky you didn't die. Okay. Don't just fall. Don't just jump off. He did it. He did it again. He. Li Shh, I kid you not. He just dropped right off the ladder, and I wasn't even touching the face buttons, the D-pad, anything. I promise you, he is a man with a death wish. You know how you can swim in exactly one uh, direction at a time? There is no diagonal movement in the water. You know, feels great. Oh, the vines are so bad! 
You might say, wow, you're even picking on the vines? I'd say, yes. I mean, look at them. They're so choppy. How did the how did the Atari 2600 have such beautifully done, smooth moving vines? And the NES stuck with this. Okay, I was able to get over. It feels good, I suppose. A new section. An area that I've never seen. Do I want to know what this is? Is it anything? Well, I shot it and nothing happened. So great, is this one of those areas that just has an arbitrarily hidden item and you have to just jump around until you find it? Yes! Look at that! It was. It was ammunition. For my boomstick. You know, I wouldn't call that a mandatory item, at least. Just something to, uh... <laughs> help you a little bit. That was... great. Jump clear through the vine? Ooh, don't mind if I do, says Pitfall Harry. This can't be Pitfall Harry. Pitfall Harry was a suave, dashing gentleman who was able to, uh... tame the jungle to his will. This dude... is some knockoff... who wouldn't know how to explore a cavern if it knocked him upside the head. At least he shot a frog right there. I just say, frog, don't jump up at me. What am I hoping to accomplish here? Anything, really. I just want to see where this ladder takes me, you know? We, you gotta explore, you gotta get your hands dirty. Well, it is gold. However, the peril of that snake and its erratic movements... There we go. What was I gonna say? I actually meant I don't fear it at all. It's no problem, whatsoever. Every second spent in this game without dying is uh, a battle of nerves. <laughs> a battle of nerves and the only competitor is yourself. I know, how... how... how poetic, how astute. Buy my book of super pitfall poetry at a Barnes & Noble near you. Hey, it's another pile of gold, at least. If I were him, at this point, I'd cut my losses. I'd say, okay. We've made a decent amount of money here. We can get out of here now. We can... We can leave... Put our family in a uh, financially responsible spot. And again, see, you'd expect, oh, there's an item here, because we have that club. But no, I'm jumping all over to see if one unveils itself, and it just doesn't happen. So, what's the point? Don't know. I tell you, stick around to find out, but we'll probably never find out. You gotta love that, right? I mean... Who doesn't love it? A nice blind drop and you're greeted with uh, the sweet embrace of death. That's all I can do for fun is just rapidly crouch. Is this gonna kill me too? That sure, sure is! Yep! <laughs> you got it! <laughs> you got it, son! No living in this game. I'm glad, you know... My... 
my reflexes kicked in a little bit there to acknowledge. Oh, hey, jump. This area is trying its best to kill me, but its best ain't good enough. Look at the slowdown when you got all these fireballs around here. It's... Oh, that is not your video. That is... That is just the game. Hey, look. More bullets. I got 41 whole bullets now, you know? Who's leaving all these bullets in this cavern? No! Well, that, that went about as poorly as you can possibly expect. We explored deeper than we've ever explored before, but it, uh, it kind of felt all for naught, you know? But everything in this game feels for naught. It's, you know... It's the game that just kind of... <laughs> it strings you along. It says, oh, here, explore more stuff, and you say, uh, okay. But the more you explore it, the more it just kind of... The more you just realize that it, it has nothing for you. It has no grand plan. You know, you're just gonna keep meandering about... Hoping that something interesting happens. And then you just, uh, die because you caught... Because you nicked the corner of your foot on a frog. We've all been there. You know, I'm not trying to lack any empathy for our protagonist here. Have we not all perished to a frog at some point in our life? I don't know if I've gone this far over in the water. Maybe I have. I probably have. Well. I'm, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> At, there's a point where all you can do is laugh, right? Getting angry about it ain't gonna accomplish anything, you know? Just, just, just accept that you're playing a uh, hilariously bad game, and, you know? Make a time out of it, you know? This is why when people, like, call certain other games bad, and turns out that the game that they're calling bad is probably, you know, perfectly fine, I'm like, you need to play an actual bad game, man. This is, this is one such game. Hey, haven't been here. Well... I've seen these, but I've never been on the same uh, plane as them here. I'm pretty sure if I go down, I die. Let's try it. Yes, okay. So, I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to verify in my mind that that was, in fact, topographically this, the place that I was thinking of. And it was! Hooray. I think. Okay, so back in slow down central here with all the fireballs you can shake a stick at. See, that's th that's what I had intended to do last time, but instead I just kind of jumped down into a sea of flame or lava as it were. I guess you know lava is not technically flames. So, we're... Do you want to talk about that? Like, uh, do we actually want to even bother saying anything regarding what we just witnessed here? Is there any way past it? You know, can you shoot the big ol... Oh, okay, I guess it just despawned. It, it kills you once and then it says, Alright, well, I had my fun. Please, you know, stop crouching at the... Yeah, thank you. And this, this is the big ladder thing we found with the balloon! Meaning now we get to float up into the sky and probably get killed by something. I'm, 
uh, honestly, this was kind of my end goal anyway, was uh, I just wanted to grab the balloon, you know? Who doesn't want to grab the balloon? It was all I ever wanted, was to touch the balloon. Well, now that we've done that, we can die a happy man. Remarkable. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <sighs> we saw so many things, though. I guess you know, if you were to be incredibly kind to of the game, you would call it an adventure. And I guess that would. Not be an incorrect statement, but it also kind of feels like it's giving it too much credit. It's like, yeah, we explored, we found a new cavern, we uh, grabbed a balloon, you know, we did all kinds of new stuff that... Don't do it bad. Don't... You should know better. We did all kinds of new stuff that we didn't see before. We we went on a little adventure. The problem is, it was the most uh, bland, poorly crafted adventure that I've ever been on. I don't know if this game is worse than Akari Warriors 1. That might not be the case. That game is pretty, you know, pretty bad. <laughs> you know, like, that one kind of veered on, uh, dare I use the word, dare I use the term unplayable. That's, that was what Akari Warriors 1 felt like. This game, I guess, technically <laughs> is playable. <laughs> You just don't want to play it, you know? So we can just fall off here. Wish I wouldn't have died a couple times, you know? That's gonna leave me in a, uh, a bit of a predicament. With that whole issue of having no lives to speak of. But... We do what we must. Hearing the little like instruments and the music just kind of like take a completely wrong note every now and then. Oh great, the vines the vines despawned. That's interesting. They're back. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen that happen before. <laughs> You're just minding your own business, you know, trying to get done what you need to get done, and all of a sudden the vines leave you. A truly haunted game. I'm not gonna go using nomenclature like curse, because quite frankly, I think it's, it's a cliche at this point. Why can't you just crouch shoot? You know, as it is, I gotta wait for these scorpions to take their own damn time doing what they're gonna do. And it's the slowest thing you've ever seen. At least these things aren't as obnoxious as they could be. Why? You knew you were gonna die. It's a bit of a mind-numbing experience, you know? <clears throat> Just kind of crushes your soul. With this one release, this means that Activision has a worse NES track record than LJN so far. Don't worry, though. <laughs> Got some delicious LJN action cooking up in the kitchen. If delicious is really the word you want to use. You could probably all guess. If you have a decent amount of general NES knowledge, what I'm referring to. It's definitely one of their more... Uh, I don't even know if I want to use the term controversial, because I don't know if anybody expected much of it in the first place, but it's a very, uh, notorious release. And that might be a worse time than this game, even, but we'll... We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that, you know. Take it a step at a time here, man. If, if Super Pitfall is what you're playing, then give Super Pitfall all of your attention. Do I have to? Continue 
here the best we can. And now, honestly, drop. I know, I'm not picking up like any gold. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care for the gold, you know? That just mean that would make us a man of greed and uh, material things. Hmm. That's a death zone. So why did I come here? Admittedly, the only way that I know to get under this area is actually to die in that death zone. Because of the wonky way that the game handles respawns. What am I referring to? Okay, so check this out. Currently, we are above the water. If we fall and die here, we are spawned to... You know, what's what's respawns us? There you go. Here, the platform directly above that spike pit, which is... This dank area right here. Now, one would assume that there's got to be a way to get here without dying. I don't know what way that is. Just to, you know, be perfectly clear. So therefore, my only method of getting to this area is to just fall on the spikes. Again, there has to be a way other than that. Yeah, there's ammo there. I don't care. I'm not going to be alive long enough to use it. Ow. Oh, oh, you can get past it with the nice uh, little uh, dunking yourself in the hole business. I see. Okay, well. Now I know that that's not a completely lost cause. I kind of had a hunch. And then, we grab the balloon. We grab the balloon. There we go. Oops. Fortunately, the balloon does respawn. One of, uh very few positive things that the game does for you. It doesn't just make the balloon a one-shot. I have no idea how essential the balloon is to progress either. Maybe it's just uh, a nice little thing that they give you as a peace offering. But you're already well past the point where you want any peace from this game and you're like, just get out of my life already. At least, you know, it's a tiny change in music for a very brief moment. A much needed reprieve. That's right, we've seen that happen. That has indeed happened before. That exact sequence of events. And then, okay, nope. That's not a death hit. I'll take it, you know. Oh no, I won't take it. <laughs> no, no, no. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it, me? I have never felt like I've made so little progress despite objectively making progress. Like, I have gone further and further into the cavern, but at no point have I felt, yeah, now we're doing it. <laughs> the most ineffective gun for the most ineffective protagonist in the most ineffective video game. It's all so fitting. You know, should have known that that's all that was over here, but... You know. You eventually just... Stop caring. Well, 
We're just running through the motions at this point. Yo! Maybe that's... Maybe that's not giving myself enough credit. Rolling through the motions would be, you know, dying in the exact same sequence over and over and over, then saying, IT SUCKS! But I... I think I've been doing a fairly good job of, um... Doing my absolute darnest to find... Alternate paths and new ways around things, which is, of course, what a lot of these NES games were designed for, you know, kind of repeat playing, even if you're gonna wind up dying at some point, you know, they say, hey, just give it another shot, and give it another shot, and eventually you'll find stuff out, and I guess, you know, if you want to look at this game through the most optimistic lens possible, it does embody that kind of uh, gameplay experience. Although that is inc incredibly uh, generous of a take, I would say. It's far easier to just say it's an obtuse game that um, actively punishes you for playing it. I feel like I've gone up to this area before. Yeah, I have. It's just not my... Mo I just don't quite have a frequent flyers card for this area. And then if we fall here, what happens? You know, the fact you cannot ch alter your uh, trajectory when falling... ...is a fact. Oh, come on! It's okay. You're almost done with Super Pitfall. Then you never have to touch it again. I said. I'm not proud of that, as you may imagine. It's not. That's not uh, exactly what I aspire to do in the future. So let's jump down into the exact same pool of water yet again. It's okay. I, I survived at that time, so I. I, I accomplished my goal of, uh, doing something a little different there. This, I believe, is just a path to sorrow. Yes. Oh, you- okay, so... Big news there, as long- if you, like... If you just directly fall, you cannot alter your trajectory. If you jump and then turn around, then you can give yourself a little bit of momentum. It took me, you know, 53 minutes to figure that out. But, uh, better, better late than never, I suppose. No, but if you... If you are more late than never, then that does mean that you did have to actually play this game. Yeah, and then that momentum stays there. Even if you hit a wall, you will still keep going right after the fact. So, they, gosh, of course, even that they managed to make as goofy as possible. It's my chronics, you know? I don't know what I expected. I do know what I... Gosh, dang it. <laughs> I do know what I expected, and I'm getting exactly that. It's a, uh, bumbling, broken experience of a game. Hooray. Fortunately, I don't think we have that many more Micronix games to go. We got Akari Warriors 2 eventually, which they gave back to Micronix again for whatever god-awful reason. You want the best thing ever? I actually own that game physically. Mm-hmm. Ah! You can make it past those snakes! You just gotta... You just gotta finesse it a little bit. 
I admittedly thought he was going to turn around and start going the other direction, but, you know. <sighs> I can accept when I'm wrong. The music, man. Just such a banger. I hear this in the club every single night, you know? See, that's why I would make an atrocious club DJ, because I would, uh, I'd intentionally just drop little meme songs like this, and everyone wouldn't get it, and I'd be like, come on, it's comedy. Aren't you people cultured? I'd say, oh, of course you're not, you're at the club on a s Saturday night. I was gonna say, no offense to club people, but I guess that's literally just what I did was insult all of them in one go, so, ah, uh, you know. The most important thing to remember is that if a lifestyle is different than yours, that does not mean that it lacks value. That is my actual take on the matter. If a person enjoys clubbing, then hey, good on them. They have found something that uh, brings some energy and enjoyment into their life. You can't be upset at them for that. Those same people would, would look at me and say, this guy really plays an hour of old video games and posts it to YouTube. And, you know, it would be all in their right to look at me and say, wow, what a dork. So it just goes to show you, you, you know, accept other lifestyles. Unless that lifestyle is, you know, selling drugs to five-year-olds. <laughs> I'm real upset with that frog right now. I forgot it was there, even though I'm pretty sure I did die to it before. There we go. So let's just eliminate the frogs entirely, you know? God, this game is just so amateur. Like... It's like I said earlier, the more you play it, the more it dawns on you on just how poorly constructed it, it really is. Hooray! An extra life. <laughs> Somebody pop the champagne. Hopefully, this video won't even last long enough for us to use it. I'm sure it will, because death is inevitable. Really, it's just like real life. Making this actually the most realistic game imaginable. Okay, now, what you do? You coax him out. You duck in the hole. It looks like you don't have enough, uh, space. I think we messed that up. We didn't mess it up! We were able to get underneath him. God, that ladder seems to be the only one where I consistently have issues, um, getting around it here. One more time for Balloon Man, and then we'll just pop right here. Because I don't think I've taken this route. Good. That's all that awaits us here, is faulty vines. How about over here, you know? In, in, in the very last minute of gameplay, let's, let's see an area that we've never seen before, you know? Give something a little exciting! Yeah. You can, you can hear the venom in my voice when I say exciting, because there's nothing exciting about this game. Except for all this gold! Damn, son! I felt like if I jumped too high, you know, I would have banged my head against the spikes. If I jump too low, then, you know, I I just step on the floor spikes. You're spiked if you do, spiked if you don't, you know? Um, can I make it through this corridor in the last few seconds? 
Well, no, that won't happen. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Not milk on this one, that's for sure. So yeah, that was Super Pitfall. Uh, you know, new from the second you saw that Micronics name, that you were going to be in for some hot garbage, and lo and behold, there it was. Ugh. Like I said, you got to trudge through some of the garbage to get to the good stuff sometimes. Fortunately, tomorrow we have the Goonies too, which, for all intents and purposes, is actually a pretty decent game. So we'll we'll find that out for ourselves, I suppose. Thank you for joining me for this absolute dumpster fire of an episode. We'll see you next time. <laughs>